If this helps anyone, then I'm glad I have made this video. Let me know. This is Stephanie Kwame from the Cat Academy. And I know a lot of you have had experience with Windows 8, but I hadn't. I recently went out and bought a new laptop because I needed to. Had Windows 8, had everything I liked on it. And of course, I've had laptops for years and years. So I loaded my application. And of course, the first thing that happens, you go into it, and you've got the charms menu or those applications. And so then I got to the desktop and then I launched Archicad in particular. And I got in there and it was, everything was completely out of control. I mean, there's no way to control anything. It was zooming, panning, it was popping up. And I thought, I can't handle this. So I decided I am going to go down. I'm going to downgrade to Windows 7. So I purchased a, it was very difficult to find when you could only buy it online now, a, a Windows 7 Professional. And I went through, it went through the motions of installing. And then when it rebooted, the uh, laptop screen said, uh, something unauthorized was trying to make a change in restoring Windows 8. So I thought, well, apparently that is my fate. And uh, it, it is the new Windows, so I should make the best of it. I know why they have it. It's so that you can do applications, you can uh, do on-screen uh, uh, pointing. Uh, you can, I mean, just do a lot. It's amazing, but it just doesn't work for, for CAD. So the first thing I did is I right clicked on the taskbar menu and I saw that I could say this. When I sign in or close all applications on the screen, go to the desktop and just start. So I got rid of the charms. So that got rid of the charms menu altogether. So I boot up to a desktop and that's what I'm used to. So I was happy with that. And then I found a place that has a classic start menu and that helped a lot with pro productivity because then you know where things are. If you've used Windows forever, then that really helped a lot because it's almost anti-productive for business people I, on uh, Windows 8. It's, it's going to be a learning curve. We'll just put it that way. <clears throat> and then I decided to uh, go into settings on what they call the, the charms taskbar. And that pops up with the big date. And it, I, unfortunately, I find that irritating too. But um, you can go in and you can change the navigation in there. I turned a lot of things off in um, on the devices. And probably what helped me the best is to uh, go into uh, right-clicking on the screen for personalization on the screen. You can go into the mouse and slow the mouse down. So I slowed down the mouse action. And on the wheel, I don't have a wheel because I have a touchpad, but I changed it from being able to do a number of lines at a time when it was scrolling up and down. It could drive me crazy. I said one screen at a time. And that really, uh, that kind of stopped that. And again, um, slowed it down on the pointer options as well. And uh, it did some, I, I automatically moved the pointer to the default button in the dialog box and then did some other things. But um, that helped a bit. And now I can operate it because I'm actually re making this recording on this beautiful new machine, and I'm hoping to feel better about it all the time. If you know something that would help any of the CAD users uh, in customization, please let me know. But this basically calmed it down enough so that I still have a, a few issues, maybe a hang up here or some issues, but at least I can operate it. So I hope this helped somebody. And if it did, let me know. Thanks for listening.